So next up, we're going to add your Amazon account. This is going to be another step in automating your dropshipping business. So when orders come through from eBay, they'll arrive into Salesforce and behind the scenes, we'll process your orders automatically through your linked Amazon account. We'll then update those with tracking and mark those as shipped on eBay. So first of all, what we want to do is click on my accounts at the top of the screen. From here, we want to proceed then to add an account. So if we click on this tile, and then proceed to complete our account details. You will also need a proxy for this. If you've used a proxy on your eBay account, it's pretty common that people use the same proxy from eBay that they'll use in their Amazon accounts. If you wish, you can use a separate one, or if you're using multiple Amazon accounts and multiple eBay accounts, again, you may wish to keep those separate. There is some more information on proxies on the written handbook, so please refer back to those if you need to. But from here, complete the information as shown and then click on add account. Once you've added the account, you'll then see the account appear here on the dashboard. As you can see, this is in a pending state. After a couple of seconds and a refresh of the page, this should change to inactive. As you can see from the tile, it has changed to inactive and also in brackets, we can see it's with a proxy. You can see here the balance of the account is zero, but don't worry about that. I can show you how to change that later. So what we need to do is make sure the virtual machine is active and working. So what we want to do is click on the tile and this will open up your own private virtual machine for that Amazon account. This enables us to access the account via the proxy and keep your account secure and safe. So give this a couple of minutes, this will load up. Okay, so once the virtual machine has loaded up correctly, um, it should appear just as a normal Amazon account on a browser. What you need to do next is you need to log in. Salesforce automatically logs into the account for you. If by any chance it doesn't log in, or like you can see here, the password's incorrect, you can log in yourself. It is important, however, that you go back and you check the password and you make sure that it is correct going forward on the Salesforce dashboard. I'll show you how to do that at the end of the video. So I'm going to go ahead and log in. If, however, you cannot log into the account or you've forgotten your password, but the password is correct on Salesforce, as you can see, there's a little overlay here with the Salesforce logo. You can click the little lock box, and what this will do is the system will automatically log in for you using your encrypted information within Salesforce. And you can log in as normal. So as you can see, the Amazon account here, pretty normal. And um, what you need to do if you haven't done so already, is go into your account you need to first of all update your payment method uh, add your credit card details your american express your debit card whatever that may be add the payment details here uh, please ensure that you've only got one payment method linked to your amazon account uh, for auto order purposes you can only have one debit card um, as we can only link one debit card here in the safe access so next step, once you've added your debit card or your credit card on Amazon, or you've removed any credit or debit cards that you don't require on that Amazon account, you need to then add your details into the encrypted sale freak system. So you want to complete your full name, your address, your city, your state, which is the county in the UK or your state in the US, your zip code, again, your postcode in the UK, uh, your country, and also your phone number. And then enter your credit card details, the expiry date and the CVV on the back or the front of the card, whichever one's applicable to you. These details are stored within Salesforce and they're fully encrypted within the system. And they're used only if Amazon requires to re-verify our card details during the auto order process. Once you're done with that, you can click OK. And it will appear that the box is complete and will also say done. For the demonstration purposes, I've not completed any details here. Um, but you'll see when you click OK that everything should look good if you've completed the form. This little symbol here is Purchase Aid. Uh, this is a handy little tool that if you have to complete orders manually. Uh, what this will do is pull up the information from Salesforce if you have existing orders that have had an error or are pending. And you can select the order and navigate to the product page. You can also place the shipping address automatically and then update the details back in Salesforce by using the submit button. I'll do a separate video on that when showing you how to process a manual order, but it's worthwhile noting for now. Also, if you ever need to copy and paste anything into the safe access system, 
please kind of see, uh, have your attention up in the top right hand corner, you've got a little clipboard here. You can actually copy anything from outside of Safe Access into Safe Access here. So let me just copy something from my screen and show you how that works. So all I would do is paste it in here and then I could click on copy and then I could paste that anywhere. And this will come in handy in some situations. You can also use the button to the right to download documents or upload documents to safe access. It's very, very rarely that you will need to do this though. Okay, so also just worthwhile noting that you should have uh, Amazon Prime. So sign up to Prime, make sure your card's connected and also make sure when you've set up your details and you've set up your card, under the My Address or under Your Addresses tab, your address should be selected as the default address. When everything's set up, you need to then go back into Salesforce. And on the little button on the right hand side, you can click on Edit. You can change the status to Prime. And then to, to start your auto order process with a credit card, you would change the balance to 9999.99. Or if you're using gift card balance or top up on the account, you would just use the balance um, on your Amazon account. You can also give the account a tag and you can also for account protection restrict the amount of orders and the volume that goes through those per day. Again, I wouldn't worry too much about that in the beginning. If you have very low orders going through the account in the beginning, you should be fine. At some point you can refer to our guide on account protection down the line to see how uh, we advise you to change things. Once you're done, you can click on update and then refresh the page. And if everything's correct, you'll see the account status has become active and you can see the balance is shown credit card. This is you pretty much good to go with auto ordering. If an order comes through from eBay to sale freaks, normally within about 15 to 20 minutes, that order will go through on Amazon. You should receive alert an alert via your email to say the item's been ordered on Amazon. You can also check that order on the orders tab on sale freaks as well. Thank you.